Ah, there you are. Hello. Listen, uh, yeah, you may have to trust me for a second on this because it's only the most exciting writing research tool I've seen in years. And also happens to be one that doesn't even sound remotely like it's for writers, not in the slightest. To think all LIDAR. And yeah, before I tell you what it is, you need to please promise me that you will watch for a minute or two because in order to show you this LIDAR and what it does for us as writers, I've had to tidy my office. I actually, would you mind subscribing? I spent ages making this place look nice for you. Okay, right, here's the thing. You know uh, how a, a salesperson or definitely a, a very techie friend is going to wince at whatever computer or phone you bought and say things like, should have sprung for some more RAM there. And, you know, you, you quite reasonably ask what that is and what the benefit is, and they look at you like, what? RAM? Random access memory? Duh. This is a bit like this, at least at start. Knowing what this means doesn't help you in the slightest. LiDAR. It's short for light detection and ranging. There you go. Duh, you hear that? And don't you immediately know how this helps you? Wait a minute, hang on. I'm, I'm too keen on this. Let me stop for a second. Hello, I'm William Gallagher. This is 58 Keys, which is for writers. It's usually for writers who use uh, any Macs, iPhones and iPads. This particular time, it is specifically for people who have or are going to have one of these. iPhone 12 Pro iPhone 12 Pro Max, the 2020 iPad Pro 12.9 inch, or the 2020 iPad Pro 11 inch, or, or later than these. This is what we're talking about. That's the LiDAR scanner on my iPhone 12 Pro. Now, unusually for Apple, they actually haven't made a big deal about this yet. I mean, to my knowledge, they haven't even called it magical. And yet, honestly, I think it is a bit. Um, I, I know for certain, you and I, we're both going to hear much more about this over the next few years for photography, for augmented reality. I don't know what else, but I know it's going to be increasingly useful. And as of right now, I don't care about the future. I'm in. I'm sold already. Picture the scene. You've come here to my nice office uh, to research something, anything. Because it's you, obviously I've nipped downstairs to make some tea, and I, I've insisted that you make yourself at home, Look at anything, make any notes you need, whatever you want. Uh, if this is research, if you are aiming to use this place for something in your fiction, well, you'd be paying extra attention. You'd probably be paying some attention to the very tidy surroundings. You might take photos. You might take videos. What I think you definitely won't take is it all in. You won't, you'll, you'll get an impression of books Say there's a window behind there. You might wonder about the BBC newsroom sign over the door, but you won't remember details. You won't remember where everything is next to each other. You could have an actual image of the office, a video. But, uh, OK, having looked at that, got that video. How wide is that window? How big is the room? Because, you know, the videos and photographs, they, they, some of them make places look either bigger or smaller than they are. I don't know why, but actually I don't. 100% care anymore, because take another look at my office in this photograph. Okay, there it is, that's his office, uh, minus the camera, I put my mirror actually minus me. It looks like a corner of the office photograph, uh, but then I could do this. Well, that's quite nice. If you're thinking this is like a panoramic photograph, well, I suppose it is so far, except for this. That is a complete 3D scan of my office. Um, with this one, I can't move in close enough to see the individual books. And also, you see these patches around. I did it very quickly, so there are bits that are missing. But I can move around the whole room to examine it. So I think if somebody's standing there in the corner, what can they see and what can't they? And then I can also do this. Right, I hope this works. I can't think of any other way to show you this. It's not going to be clear, whatever it is, but you will at least get the idea. Here we are, obviously, outside in my garden. But have a look around. This is looking through the camera on my phone. See so, yeah, how clearly I can bring this to you. That is my office, and I can walk around it. So the office space is recreated around me here. I can be away from that location, but I can still bring the location with me and look around to see what can be seen from certain angles, 
see where everything was. So here's how it's done. Uh, two parts to it really, well three parts. Remember you have to have uh, currently iPhone 12 Pro, or iPhone 12 Pro Max or one of the 2020 iPad Pros, at least at the moment. More will be coming. Beyond that, um, there's a LiDAR scanner itself and then there are the apps that you need to use it. Here's the thing about that scanner though. If you have one of these devices that has a LiDAR scan in it, there's just about nothing to tell you that you have, that it even exists. Um, your photographs uh, will have auto-focused a bit quicker. And if you use a tool called the Measure app that's on iPhones now, you may have noticed that it's a bit more reliable, or you may not, but that's it. These devices have a LiDAR scanner and Apple does not give you an app to use it with. It does not give you some setting in the camera app. It doesn't give you any settings for it at all anywhere. You can ask Siri about LiDAR and it will just look at you. Yeah. LiDAR is in the hardware of these devices and it's also in the iOS operating system. But for you and I as writers to use it, we need another firm's, a separate firm's app to handle it. There are actually quite a few of these now uh, and they're only little bits and different things. Uh, I've been using two, including the one you've just seen, and both the ones I use happen to be free. So get them both. Try them both and I'll have notes below. My favourite and the one you've been seeing so far here and outside is called Canvas. You stand in the middle of the room, or as near as you possibly can, and you start the scan and then you wave your iPhone around. Uh, it's very much like you're standing in the middle of a Star Trek holodeck because uh, there's like this grid pattern that gets steadily replaced by images of what's actually around you. And then that's it really. There are details, uh, but they vary with the different apps. Um, and then there's what you can do with the images. Uh, you can always see them in the app, and that's what I do most of the time. But as you've seen here, you can show, uh, show these images in videos. You can send them to people with limits. Um, I should say, actually, before I forget it, the other app I've been using, and you know, again, there are links below, is called 3D Scanner App. I think, I think it might be better for you when you want to scan a particular object rather than map out a whole room. But as I say, uh, they're both free. So if you have an Apple device with a LiDAR scanner, go mad. Just imagine, right, going somewhere for research and bringing that somewhere back with you. This reminds me of when uh, Google Earth first came out and you could see anywhere on the planet. LiDAR is science fiction and it's in our hands. Plus, I had terrible buyer's remorse over getting the iPhone 12 Pro instead of just the regular and cheaper iPhone 12, and I definitely don't now. Actually, I'll tell you, next time I have a stage show, I'm going to scan the set and keep it with me. I love stage sets designs, and I can keep it and walk around it. Uh, also, I'll tell you what, I'll race you to be the first person to write a detective story in which the detective, lead character, solves the murder because he or she has taken a LiDAR scan of a room and has spent time walking around it. Or you know it's going to happen. It should be you or me. I'll race you for this. Now, I'm, I'm not actually kidding about tidying up the office. You may not think it's terribly tidy, but I've been a full-time freelance writer for 30 or more years now, and for the last 20 I've been in this room doing it. So I had and a half accrued an amazing amount of junk, which I, I genuinely have now finally cleared out in order to talk to you about it. But I, I wish there was a way to do 58 keys about this and maybe I can find a way. But let me tell you this, having cleared this space, I think I'm writing better. You know, I feel lighter. It used to be that I would kind of squeeze into the desk and then while I was at the desk and while I was facing the Mac, I was focused and everything was fine, but I'd lean back and hit a box or something like that. Definitely a turn I feel very hemmed in and without that, yeah, things feel more open and freer and I genuinely believe it's helping my writing. Um, is that a Feng Shui thing? I don't understand Feng Shui. Is there an app for it? I don't know might look into this in the future but there you go use lidar if you've got a device that has it um if you haven't got a device that has it tidy up your office while you're waiting to get a di yeah thank you very much for watching really good talking to you you take care of yourself now okay and i'll see you soon